Hi, here we are again to talk about Xcode and table views and creating custom table view cells. And, you know, in the last video, I kind of went over this, this example in a nutshell and kind of went, you know, talked about the process of creating a custom cell. And, uh, you know, this, this cell looks like, like this, right? It's got some cats, you know, got the name of the cat, age of the cat, picture of cat, right? And then uh, some other features here, like a switch and a button. Okay, so just um, quickly, this um, this is a simple setup. It's got a storyboard with a table view and a single table view cell, one one prototype cell. And what's happening here is we're loading up this prototype cell, and then I'm populating you know the image and the name and the age with you know some information, and the information is essentially you know they it comes from this cat class here, right? So I've got a cat class, and every cat has, you know, a name, an image name. These are both strings, and then it has an age, which is an integer, and a like value, which is a boolean. It can be true or false. Okay. So you know, essentially, this is what I want to display in the cell. Okay. So the cell needs a place to show the name, display an image, display the age, and then you know maybe use this like thing for the switch. Okay. And like the switch could set the, set this or show the the value of it, right? So you know, creating a cat, you 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 know, I, I made this extra initializer here, like the default initializer, but then we have an initializer here where you can initialize a cat with name, age, and image name, okay? And liked is just false by default, okay? So so there we go. So now let's make a custom cell. So to get started. What we're going to do is we're going to go into Storyboard, and you can just start without any cell at all. I'll leave my default cell here, and uh, you know I can just add another one, right? So I'll just leave that one there, and then we'll make a, a new one. So I'll grab a cell and drop it in Storyboard, and then you know you can set the height of it. You know, grab the little controller there and set it to whatever height you like. And um, at the top here. It has a style, so make sure you're on table view cell, and then there's a style, and it can be style custom or one of these basic ones or default ones, right? We want to choose custom because we're going to customize the cell, and the cell has a lot of properties here, so you can go through these properties and you can set the background color and the tint color and these other features. Um, maybe I'll uh, I'll set the background color here to something something cat like. I don't know what is cat-like here. Maybe that's a good cat-like green. Um, so I don't know. I don't think cats like green. What do you think? Anyway, so we got that. And then next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab an image view, and I'll put the image view in here. And then we'll resize it. Oops. Let me let me grab the corner there, right, and resize this a little bit. You know, not in the first one, I made the image view go all the way to the edges, but that doesn't have to be the case. Maybe I'll make this image a little smaller and give it a little bit of margin around the outside there. And then um, I'll grab a label here and drop it into my cell. And maybe I'll drag it all the way across like that and set the font size to something a little bit larger. Maybe something a little bit bolder, bold like cats, right? Um, and then you can change the color. Oh, that's a terrible color for cats. Uh, maybe that one right there. We go right. And then uh, you know maybe I can make a label for the age. We'll tuck this in underneath here. You know something like that. You know and you can arrange this however you like. Um, let's get a color for that, um, and we'll do that one in the same color there, right? And then if we want to have a button, you know, or a switch or something, we can put that in there too. Maybe I'll do this button over here, and we'll do the um, a UI switch over on this side, right? And you could add some more, right? Um, so anyway, so we've got all that. So 
you know, that should be pretty self-explanatory. So the next step here is we need to add some constraints, okay? So we have to have constraints for these things, and the constraints are actually going to be relative to the table view cell. And if you have problems setting those or problems selecting the things, um, use the outline view, and that will make it a lot easier. And you can see that the table view cell is built from a table view cell object, which contains a... Uh, a content view, which is just a UI view that's sort of the background or container for the cell. And then inside of that, it has all of the elements that we just added. So it's got the image view, the labels, and the button, and the switch. So, uh, you know, you can do a, a few things here with the constraints, you know, uh, maybe like the switch here will pin the um, these two edges there, lower right corner. And then maybe for this thing here, we'll pin these three edges and set the width. And, you know, maybe these guys will, you know, this guy at the top, the name label, maybe I'll pin these three edges. You know, it depends. Like if you make your own custom view, um, the, the arrangement you use might require different constraints. But this is what I did there. And, um, and then maybe this one right here, I'll do the same thing. I'll just pin these three edges there. And then these guys are not quite in the right spot, so maybe I'll select them and choose Update Frames. There we go, right? I guess that kind of moved them. Maybe I'll need to nudge them back. But uh, anyway, you know, you know, I'm not going to spend too much time on these constraints here. You can you can work those out. Maybe this guy right here, will, uh, we can just pin these two corners. Um, and... Yeah, that kind of worked out, right? So anyway, so there we go. We've got everything constrained, right? Um, and now what we need to do is, is before we leave here, we need to make sure we go back to the table view cell, okay? And underneath style here, there's an option called identifier. So we have to give this a, a reuse identifier. So let's call it cat cell 2. How about that? Okay. Maybe I'll even copy that, but I'll actually I'll probably end up coming back for it. But anyway, that's that's going to be our name, right? Okay. So there's our there's our first few steps. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is we need to make a a custom class to represent this table view cell. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to um, Command N or File New and make a brand new file. And the type of file will be an iOS source file, and we'll choose custom or Cocoa Touch class, okay? And then I'll click Next. And what we want to do is we want to subclass the UI table view cell, okay? Because we're making a table view cell here, and we want to make a custom, you know, class or a custom version of the, you know, already existing table view cell. So here's table view cell here, and why don't we call this, you know, cat cell to table view cell, okay? So cat cell to table view cell, or you can call it cat cell. The, the name here really doesn't matter, okay, as long as it's a, you know, valid class name, okay? So we'll click, uh, we'll make sure we got the language to Swift, and we don't need to check the box for, you know, create XIB file, right? So we'll just leave this the way it is. And then I'll click Next, and then it'll ask me, like, hey, you know, where do you want to save that file? And I'll save it into my project folder. Okay? And now we've got our cat cell. So what we need to do now is we need to assign this class to the cell in Storyboard. Okay, so here is the, um, the cell. And when I switch to the... Um, to the uh, you know identity inspector here, I can type the name into the box. So I'm going to type it in here and make sure it says you know cat cell to table view cell. And it always helps I think if you hit the return key when you see what you want there, just to make sure that Xcode reads it. And you'll see the module, the you know kind of grayed out text in the module will change, and then you'll know that it it recognized that. Okay. So there we go. So now we're pretty good. So now if, uh, if we want to, um, you know, be able to access the image and the labels and the buttons and things, we'll need to make IB outlets and IB actions for these. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to open up um, the, uh, the, the new CatCell2 class file in the assistant editor alongside storyboard, right? So I'm going to hold the option key and click on cat cell number two, table view cell, and then there it is. So now it opens up over here on the, uh, on the right side. Now inside the, um, the class here, I'll make a little bit of space at the top, and we can make a mark here and call it ID outlets. Like this. And now we'll we'll just do what we do, you know, with our storyboard is we'll you know right click or control click and drag into um, into the cat cell two class file, right? Um, you know, if you do that and it doesn't let you create an outlet, and you know that you've assigned the cla the class name here in the identity inspector, um, you know, just go back and double check that this has the I the class name in you know, in the class field in the identity inspector. And if it doesn't, put it in there. And if it does, close this file and just switch into another file and then switch back. And usually that'll that'll update it and make it make it work. Or maybe close storyboard and then reopen storyboard, right? Because sometimes it doesn't it won't let you do it the first time for some reason. But anyway, there we go. So this is the image view. So we'll say cat image view. Right now, the one thing you can't do is if we have an image view here, you can't name it image view. Okay, um, the regular the regular table view cell has an image view property, and this would be overriding that property, and it'll give you an error. So avoid doing that. So I'm going to call this cat image view. Okay, and then maybe this will be the name label. So I'll I'll right click here and I'll I'll say cat name label. And then uh, this will be the cat age label. So I'll right click and drag, call it cat age label. And you know, for the button and the um, and the switch, you know, I might need an outlet. And if I want to get actions from those, I'll need to create an action also. So um, maybe I'll I'll make a I'll make an outlet for both and an action for both. I don't think I'm going to use the, the outlet for the button, but I'll have it anyway. So I'll call it, you know, how about, let's call this um, cat button, right? And then uh, this will be cat switch. And then now maybe I'll make a little space down here and add a mark for IB actions. And then I'll add an action for the button and the switch. So first let's do the button. I'll control drag. And then it says outlet here. I'll switch that to action and I'll say cat button tapped. And I'm going to set the type here to button. Okay. And then click connect. And then underneath it we'll control drag or right click and drag from the switch and we'll switch it to action and then we'll say um, cat switch changed and then I'll set the type here to UI switch and click connect okay so there we go well, that's pretty good we're all set um, so if you got that far and you got these things all set up and then everything looks good and you should pat yourself on the back. So in the next video, I'll, I'll, I'll tie this together with our view controller, okay? But for right now, we'll just stop here because I think that's a pretty good, pretty good amount of work, okay? So thanks for watching and I hope that was helpful.